Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 10 through 14. Before I read this, I want to share something, um, some ideas. Um, you see, Jake, uh, what's his name? Um, I think it was uh, Abraham and Isaac. When Abraham tied up um, Isaac, uh, he was going to, like, like for a burnt offering. But, you see, the Lord is making it really clear. He made it really clear up there. But, you see, um, he was testing Abraham's faith. That's why I guess Abraham is called um, uh, something to do with the father of faith, faith uh, of faith or something like that. But you see, right here, God is making it um, known that what happened right there on that mountain, he changed his mind. So he changed his mind. So he's saying, nope, that's not good. So... If we go to Deuteronomy chapter 10, look at what it says right, right here. It says, There should not be found among you anyone who makes his son or his daughter pass through the fire. So right here, God didn't do it. You see? So right here, he's making another statement. Um... And confirming that you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't burn none of your children. Or make them go through through fire. Or anything like that. Um, perhaps it means fire. Real fire that burns. Or perhaps it means like make them go through like a hard time. Make, them go, make your daughter and your son go through hell. Maybe that's what it means. I don't know, one of those two, um, it could mean physically or mentally, I'm not, sh I'm not sure, so that's why I'm reading this, to make sure, just how God made sure that he didn't, um, that Abraham didn't burn his, his uh, son, so he's making, he's making a statement right here, um, okay, let's keep on reading, or one who practices witchcraft, Again, witchcraft, or a soothsayer, or one who intrepids omens, or a sorcerer, or one who conjures spells, or a medium, or a spiritist, a spiritist, or one who calls up the dead. For all who do these things are an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God drives them out from before you. Drives them out before you. Wow. You should be blameless before the Lord your God. You should be blameless before the Lord your God. For these nations which you will dispossess, listen to soothsayers and diviners, 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 but as for you, the Lord your God has not appoint, appointed such for you.